Alright everybody, welcome back. Here we are again on Minecraft. Uh, we're at Tenalore again. Um, we're just kind of going to try to finish off this top piece right now and kind of start deck, uh, getting my actual the actual living structure complete. Um, I'm starting to look at it and you know, I'm probably going to go up about what, that many blocks, four blocks total for the, for the to building. Um, I think that will kind of give us a good, uh, a good little, um, living quarter, uh, cause that's basically what we're doing here. We're building my, um, building my living quarters now. So, uh, this is where the, um, this is where I'll be spending most of my time at when I'm doing my play, my, 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 uh, my survival series, uh, let my little let's play series that I'm working with here. I'd like to get uh, my bed pretty much out of my chest room is what I'm working on, you know. Uh, that's where, but I'm gonna actually try to, you know, make this a really cool design. Um, you guys, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still getting the hang of this whole building aspect of the game, and I mean, that's just what I love about this game because I mean, you know, there is so many options. I mean, you could do so much. Um, with Minecraft, you know, like your options are pretty much limitless in what you can accomplish in this game, which is that's why I'm that's why I've been falling in love with this game so much, guys. Uh, I've been having a blast playing Minecraft. I never thought I would say that honestly. I've been I've watched my I've watched my little brother play for so long, and I'm like, man, I was like the game has no I got no interest in this game, you know, whatsoever. But of course, then I started playing it, and yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that 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 feeling kind of changed real quickly because I mean like I said you you know you're you're not limited to to anything I mean you could do pretty much whatever you want um, especially especially when you're getting into the mod pack servers and stuff like that like that we have right here um, you know yeah you're kind of limited with your vanilla aspect because you know I mean but you know with mod packs you know that's when the game really opens up and kind of gives you a different feel to it so um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Do we want to... I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I don't want to just make it a square. Uh, yeah, I didn't really think this out too well. Um, Let's, see, let's go out here and look at it for a second. And see what we're looking at, look how we're looking right now, what it kind of gives it the shape of it. Um, yeah, that bottom piece right there underneath where the parapets are is going to stay the way it is. I'm going to have some windows up there in the top pieces of that where I just built. Um, this whole bottom section down here, let's see, um, you know, and I'm not too happy with the way all that turned out as well either with this whole end scenario room situation. I might actually take that stuff out and kind of make the main entryway a little bit bigger in looks. Um, I think that would kind of help me because I was thinking about doing some terraforming down here in the ground and kind of going down and coming up into the castle. Um, but I'm not too thrilled about that idea either anymore. Um, so yeah, I might kind of completely gut that in the middle area down there and do something special with it. Um, you know, I know do we have some mod packs on here that actually have automated gates and stuff like that. You know, that looks like the wrought iron gates, um, castle gates basically, you know, that I think would look really cool having those opening and shutting down there on the bottom. And so I'm going to probably end up doing that with that area. I better eat some steak. Um... Cause I'm not I'm not too thrilled of the way that bottom piece is looking. Um, and I'm starting to like this, but I just don't know how I want to finish off this top piece. Let's see, let's see. But I definitely want. I know I'm leaving these open because, like I said, this is like I was saying in the last video. I want to kind of kind of give this like a doorway feel to it. Um. So that way, if I ever want to come out, check out the sunset or sunrise, you know, I mean, or, you know, whatever I want to do, I can come out and just have my little balcony here and I can come out and I think it'll look, I think it's going to look pretty cool, um, with this, with this look right here. So, um, but like I said, I'm not 100% positive on how I want to finish off my roof. 
Um, and I probably put a stone slab right there. Actually, let's see. How's that? How's that gonna look? I'll just take a bunch. Cause you know you're gonna use them, so might as well just go ahead and grab them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and finish those off that way. Oh, I had a two, didn't I? All right, just didn't get put in the right spot. There we go. Yeah, I hit it on the lower on the lower part of the hitbox, so it kind of put it in the wrong location. You want to make sure you get it on that top part of the hitbox. Why can't oh there we go. I was like, why can't I fly? I know I'm a blaze. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot actually. That looks good. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now I mean, I'm probably gonna leave most of this open. I probably won't wall this up hardly at all. Um, I like the fact of having probably some of having the window effect. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of open windows and open floor plan kind of situation like that. I don't know if you guys have watched any of my uh, Super Happy Fun Time series, but it's pretty much the, the design style that I went with that. And actually, I might. Yeah, I want to. I want to come out all the way to the corner. Um, with this piece here. I don't like the way this looks. So let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and finish this off. I might actually go ahead and add one more parapet out here to the edge. That way it's just kind of all perfect symmetry. Uh, I want it all the, you know, to kind of match up. So why don't we go ahead and add another little add a little more to it. I mean, did I go out just one, it looks like? Alright, and then we add the steps to it from there. Okay. Yes, we got steps here. We got a step here. How many did I go out? No, I go out two. Okay. All right, so I need to add one more row of blocks. To that, to that, to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, uh, what I was thinking, like I said, because the whole end scenario didn't like the way it's looking. This down here is the, basically where the kind of the main entryway, uh, the main first thing you really enter to in when you walk into Lonely Wood from the main gate. Um, I still think I could probably do it there. Uh, you know, have my inn right here. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm still not really too thrilled about the way this whole blockiness looks. Uh, you know, I might just completely gut this whole section and do something completely different. Um, because I do have my tree farm area over here where I can I can add a lot of stuff right there. I can add an end. You know, I got areas over there that I can build in. We got gates there too. Um, you know, so you know, I got you know, I got I got a lot of areas in, with inside my gate wall, my gated city walls that I could definitely add that whole uh, you know, in scenario situation, you know, place that I'm looking at. But uh, right now, let's just kind of continue working on this. And that will be for future updates. This one just seems so much bigger. And those for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm getting that impression and feel. And that is actually going to need to be switched.
to just a regular block. Oh, I don't have one, that's why I can't click on it. And get that one right there, because you're not supposed to be there. And come back around. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to have to make a couple more, though. I think it just makes it feel bigger because of the fact that this gate is this entry is just a little bit larger so I have to come and so I am really tweaking this a little bit differently than what I originally had planned there we go come down and come down you down 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 break off you break off you Let's see, is that about right? Does it feel right? Yeah, I guess it feels right. Just need to make that up now. So we need to make up a couple more steps. Alright. So, we're going to flip these upside down, right there, and like so. Get us a slab. And go like so. Yeah. I'm liking this, guys. I'm really damn liking this. Ooh. Now that, I think, would look cool. What are you doing in my base? How did you get in? This is all areas are all lit up real good. And it's kind of nice because since I am in blaze form, they don't attack me. <laughs> Another advantage of the mod pack. Alright, alright, alright. So we're going to try something here. Don't know how well this will look. Yeah, we're gonna try it. I think I think that'll look cool though. Let me let's see here. Dang it, I hate when I do that. Still trying to get used to this whole flying thing, guys. I do apologize. It's so touchy. Uh, do I need more stairs already? Oh, goodness. <coughs> oh, come on now. Don't freeze on me now, game. It does this every once in a while to me, guys. This is a very, a very high uh, labor-intensive, I guess you can consider it a mod pack, and my computer doesn't like it sometimes. <laughs> and it just decides to freeze and stall, and sometimes it just completely logs me off a server. Um, 
But yeah. Right, I'm gonna definitely need more than that. Oh, that gives me 40 blocks. That should be bad enough to finish off the one level here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of that end down there at the bottom. So I mean, one thing here, and maybe after this episode, in between episodes, I'm going to kind of go down there and kind of gut that area down there. Uh, this is not really kind of finishing off the look that I'm wanting um, for this area. I, I kind of have another idea of what I want to do down there. Um, that I was thinking about in the first place, actually. I was, actually, I was going to implement it into uh, the design anyway. Um, but this would make it just a little bit different, you know, I can actually make it a little bit cleaner, make it look nicer. I'm all about the flow, you know, I want the flow of things to look a certain way. So let's see, how does that look right there with just the corner, corner pieces as they are? Now we definitely want a corner block in there. Yeah, I definitely have a corner block in there. Or, I want to see what that looks like. Actually, that looks pretty good. Compared to... Nah, nah, that's I like the corner piece actually a little bit better. Because it will fill it out. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Ooh, too far, too far, ooh, too far, up, up. Come on, come on. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I do apologize. My voice is kind of, kind of crackly today. Uh, you know, went back to work yesterday for the first time in over a week, and you know, as a bartender and, and restaurant employee, do a lot of talking. And so yeah, my I almost threw my voice out completely last night. And I was coming home and. Uh, you know, I do a lot of talking to myself, I'm not going to lie, uh, but he helps me get his ideas and brainstorm and kind of think like that, you know, uh, but I really kind of, oh, there is a, yeah, 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 we do have something wrong here. Is it maybe on this one? Cause see, those go straight off from the post. Maybe that's why I'm feeling this one is just a little bit too big. Yeah, that's what happened. But that don't make sense because now... I got two out. Okay, yeah, I went two out. Oh, yeah. Okay, but no, let's just add that back on there because this corner piece is just going to be just a little bit different, actually. Or I could do this now. Actually, no, I want to make it symmetrical all the way around. So I get rid of that and get rid of that. That's where the corner piece is, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, no, there we go. So now I just need to add one of those there. One of the, nope, wrong piece. And add that. So basically just taking out one row from this side right here. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'll get this figured out, guys. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. All right. So what I was thinking, maybe I don't know how that will work. 
I was thinking of maybe kind of pyramiding this up just a little bit. But I don't know if I like that idea either or not. So, oh, got a lot of stuff in my smelter. Uh, yeah, the train system is still kind of, eh, it's, it's still a work in progress. We were uh, I was talking to Otaku. Um, actually, while I'm talking, we're just going to kind of go, we're going to and clear this out. Because like I said, I am not thrilled about this at all, the way this is working. And the flow of my building is just not, is not the way I want it. So, let's just clear this thing, because, yeah, we'll kind of work on that. But I was, yeah, I was listening to Otaku the other day, talking to AC when they were playing. Talking about how, uh... We still got some work in progress with our train system because like for some reason my train and I don't know about his I tried it earlier today but uh, I called the train from Blackrock and it never showed up uh, so I don't know what's going on with the whole train system uh, what's you know why it's not working properly um, that is definitely a mod that I know absolutely nothing about um, so I definitely do plan on trying to learn about it myself and kind of get into that whole uh, um, was it Steve's minecart or something like that? I'm not for sure the exact name on it. I mean, um, I do want to kind of get into that and kind of venture into that world myself, actually, because I would like to kind of, for my base down here, uh, you know, for my quarry, or not my quarry, I'm sorry, but my um, my mining area down there, I'd like to add, a, you know, a little train system going down to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if exactly I want to use the steam powered like he's using. Um, that will kind of also connect with my little terminal here or if I want to try to do something different you know I know I can do some redstone work because I do know of a, you know because I have built my uh, my train system on super happy fun time my little subway network that I got over there uh, that you know I, I you know, so I kind of understand how that works you know as a very simple uh, a simple fix to minecart uh, usage uh, so I might actually do that. I'm not 100% positive yet, but I'd love to be able to actually uh, kind of get away from doing the redstone work. You know, I've got all these other mods that you know I could work with, and uh, or Steve's carts, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, so I'd love to get into into the Steve's carts and actually kind of figure that out. So that way, you know, I can uh, have my system going downstairs. You know, because I think that would be really cool. So that way, you know, I can actually have it set up to where. <clears throat> maybe get some automated mining going on as well, you know. Um, not really talking about like ender quarries or anything like that, but I, um, one mod I want to check to see if we have is the turtle mod. Uh, I don't know if that is an option on ours or not, um, but I've been seeing a lot of other uh, a lot of other players using this mod, and it looks really cool. You know, you just kind of set up these little turtles, and they go and they do the mining for you, basically. You know, you you just kind of you you tell them how far you want them to go. And they just break stuff until they stop, until it's time for them to go. Uh, so I think that'd be a really cool way for me to kind of do a little bit of semi-automation when it comes to mining. Because uh, I could just actually just, you know, say, okay, hey, go 50 blocks. And then come back, you know, I could walk away from all of them, go do something else for a little while, come back, and then collect all of my gear, collect all my stuff that they, you know, they they given me. Um, so... I don't know if we have that as an option on here or not. I'll have to look, go through our mods, um, and all that kind of fun stuff as well too. Because I know we got, you know, I think our, I was looking at the when I was loading up the launcher this uh, this afternoon to, before I started playing. Now you know the 1.710 uh, mod pack that we're playing on. It says we have over, you know, we have 200 different mods on this one server. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we got a lot going on here. You know, we have, oh man, there's so much things that we can do and so many options. You know, I was uh, watching Otako's video the other day and AC's video the day when uh, one of our buddies Caffeinator came on. And it was explaining how he's got his whole automated tree farm, you know. I mean, that's it's something that I would actually like to do as well, too, because, you know, we always need wood. I mean, I might not make it as big as his, uh, but I'd like to definitely get something going for that, you know. So, I mean, I think that'd be kind of cool because, yeah, I'm going to definitely need a lot more wood here in my future because I do plan on making some more buildings within the city. Uh, I do have plans on making a big stables uh, for horses and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I've... 
I, I like the, the design that I kind of did on my Super Happy Fun Time, so I'm going to try to kind of create another one similar to that. Uh, don't think I'll be adding any racetrack, you know, like I did over there. Um, at least not presently. Um, you know, I do have a lot of nice open land here around me, though. I mean, that is something I do plan on doing in the future. Uh, you know, kind of making a steeplechase uh, race course out here um, on one of my one of my pieces of property out here. Um, probably off over here to the west or to the east or no, ah, can't decide if I, I know if going over towards my northwest is where the desert is, and I'd rather not do it out in the desert. Um, so I'll probably go east of me, uh, maybe or maybe uh, or maybe to my south because that you know keeps me away from the desert area. Um, I think it just I think it just looked better you know in grassland instead of out in the desert. Plus, so that's the main reason why that's the chosen factor for that. But so yeah, definitely want to do that one day. Um, get that all worked up and everything but that's you know that's for future 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 for far in the future i uh, don't really have any plans on doing it anytime soon uh like i said main process that i'm working on now is just you know working on this area uh get rid of the freaking spider eyes don't need spider eyes all right so let's go ahead and continue clearing clearing and clearing all right, so that I could take out, right? Yep, I could take that one out. And I think that one is floor. It is floor. So we'll add that back in. Um, you know, and I'm thinking, guys, I, like I said, I'm, I don't, I'm not liking this at all, really. Um, where are you at, spider? I hear you. I'm, here, I'm coming down for you. I'm coming down for you, spatter. No, I didn't mean to get rid of that. Um, let's see, get rid of that arrow. I'm going to leave that right here for now. I just want to clear that one block out. Um, because that is part of the whole kind of base structure to my dwellings up on top so I'm not sure exactly how I want to work this yet um, what I want to do and what I'm going to be end up actually taking out so I'm going to leave that for now uh, like I said because I just don't really know what I want to do there but I do know that this whole little area is coming gone and it's just going away because I do not like the way it looked it turned out um, I've been contemplating on trying to fix it or just maybe adding some wood to it to make it look better, but, you know, it just, it just looked kind of plain, looked kind of bland, you know, and I just wasn't too thrilled about how it worked, so, and plus this gives me more room to kind of work around with, with my entryway and, uh, future possible ways to actually integrate, uh, my train system going down to my mines. Because uh, I do plan on having that uh, that that um, ravine. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, that ravine down there is going to be like the entrance to my mine network, uh, so that we can go down there and strip mine for you know all the resources that I need uh, to build and to work with and to make uh, you know the special tools and weapons and stuff like that with the tinker stuff, um, all that kind of fun stuff. So you know it's definitely going to be. A place I will spend a lot of time in is we're going down there because I really want to get this Tinker stuff uh, really working, guys. I mean, I, I, I got a couple ideas on how I want to do some stuff. <clears throat> you know, a lot of my resources that I need for the, the better weapons, the better tools, um, comes from the nether. So I'd be spending, I'm going to have to do a lot of time in the, in the nether as well. Um, you know, another mod that I want to really kind of work on and try to get into, I think my brother said that we do have uh, the... I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, the Twilight Forest. Um, the, so I'm going to have to get into that and do some research on that as well because I do want to get into the Twilight Forest and go start working on, you know, 
uh, one of these days going and fighting some of those cool bosses that I've seen other you know other YouTubers you know fighting and stuff like that and I think it's just kind of a fun area uh, plus there's some different um, different mobs in there as well that we can morph into I think there's like birds and and stuff like that you know squirrels and you know all kinds of crazy stuff so it would be kind of interesting to, to see that area you know like I said I've seen it on YouTube uh, but never been there personally um, but yeah so but that, you know, like I said, that's just you know, it's for the future. Right now, we're I want to get this area finished. I want to I really, you know, I've been, you know, I was on vacation last week, went to Minnesota to go see my daughter. And of course, up there, we don't have Wi Fi. So, uh, I've, you know, I've been offline for, you know, quite a bit. Um, yesterday, for some reason, I tried getting on, and the whole technical launcher was just in, in shambles for some reason. I don't understand what was going on. Uh, my launcher was saying that, they, that there was an error going on, blah, 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 this, that, or the other. Uh, so I couldn't even load in to the launcher because of it. So, and am I going to keep this, or am I going to gut it? I think I want to gut it. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I don't know. Uh, guys, I really don't know what I want to do here. I think I want to gut this. Uh, I want to gut this. Yeah. I think that's... Uh, yeah. And then make it kind of a spiral, kind of staircase. Oh, elevators. Yes, exactly. That's what I want to do. So I'll make a post coming down from uh... this spot right here right there i'll make a post coming down elevate up so i can go into my storage room elevate up another time to go up to my level instead of stairwells so yeah let's go ahead and continue getting all right and you know um... this might be a pretty good time for me to go ahead and uh, say goodbye uh... for this episode so guys, I am trying to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. Um, I'm not trying to do the whole 30-minute videos anymore, uh, just because it does take a lot of time for me to render uh, them into YouTube. So, um, you know, I mean, like I said, with my with my POS website or web Wi-Fi, uh, it makes it easier for me to get more content out with you guys by giving you guys just a little bit shorter of a video. So. Um, if you guys like what you're seeing with my videos, please keep hitting that like button. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, come subscribe if you're if you're new to the channel as well. Um, a lot of big things can be coming up in the future for me and my in my channel. So, um, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say adios then.